What's up, Russ Gamers? So I wanted to talk about the new building skins that have recently been released. The first set is called Adobe. It looks kind of like clay with wood and stuff and some tiles. And the first thing I wanted to address is how expensive it is. If you think about it, that is. So if you go into, into the item store under the general tab, you will see the building skin Adobe. And for me, it's $17.79 for this set. And they plan to release way more. It was like $20 in total. I believe in USD, it's like 13 bucks, which is, you know, sounds more reasonable, but still 13 bucks. So if they release like 10 of these, it's gonna get very pricey. So before you buy it, maybe you should hold on and see if they release more sets and you can pick and choose which ones you like. But I did decide to buy the Adobe one because I thought it looked pretty cool. So yes, it's very expensive. It's all on the way it looks. It doesn't really provide any significant function except for a couple of parts. So I made this whole demonstration just to show the difference between all of the sections and building blocks and whatnot. I'm just gonna run through and take a look at it for you. So the stairs, they have like these tiles, which is looks pretty nice. And then if you notice here on the regular walls, they got this wood sticking out, which makes it more easier to tell that this is using a stone skin versus metal because it's very orange. And then we have this. And we got these frames here. As you can see, it has these interesting tiles with patterns. Very cool. Now here's the thing that might make a difference. If you, if you can't really tell, this is a bit thinner. This frame right here, door frame, regular door frame, is much thinner than the default stone frame. So this might actually be easier for you to place certain things inside your base if you use the skin. So keep that in mind. Plus, I think it looks a bit better than the stone one. Here we got the roofs. I think the adobe roof looks much nicer than the default stone roof. So yes, these are, or this is the adobe building skin that's available right now. It's kind of pricey. And if you're interested into like roleplay stuff, this is definitely a buy. But in most cases, for many people who don't really care too much, I'd say pass on it. Now, one thing that I noticed myself while playing the other day is that it's kind of hard to tell if this is the new building skin or it's metal at range. For example, do you see those two square buildings right there on the hill? Can you tell from this distance which one is metal and which one is a skin? It's kind of hard, actually. You need to zoom in or come close to be able to tell. Even now, like, I know which one it is. The left one is metal, the right one is the Adobe skin. But it's still kind of frustrating that they're very close together as far as looks. Of course, if you come a bit closer, you're going to start seeing the other stuff uh, appear, like the wooden planks or whatever sticking out. And from the top, it looks a bit different. But from a distance, or if you're like flying over a base that you're about to raid, it might be hard to tell if it's metal or it's the skin. So I think they need to fix that. I think that this needs to be slightly different color, maybe a lighter color, perhaps, I'm not sure. So to change skins, what you do is you get your hammer out and you come to a building block or a twig foundation or whatever, and you right click. And then there's a gear here, which you can click. It says disable building skins if it's enabled, and then enable building skins if it's disabled. So I can show you this. So that's the default skin. If I go on it again, enable it. When I upgrade to stone, it turns into the new building skin. And that's how you do it. You can't change the skin once it's been already upgraded. So you have to do it before. And you can mix and match. You don't have to make your full base in the new skins. You can use the default ones if you want. It's all up to you. So anyways, thank you for watching. This is the new Adobe skins available now in store. Uh, you know, think about it if you want this or not. I don't think it adds much to the game. 
but uh, some people are going to enjoy it. Thanks for watching.